Hello and welcome back. We are here ready to go for some NECC action to close out the evening. Of course, the secondary stream has already ended and we're into the final series of the evening. And of course, we always save the best for last in both uh, the games as well as the casters. You know, totally me and Vincent uh, over here. My name is Orbital, if you don't know who I am. We'll be casting your last series. And of course, I do not mean that at all because everyone here has been phenomenal. Games from start to finish have been amazing. The casters have hyped it up. I mean, that last series was a baller. Map 3, uh, two OTs on game 2, I believe. Uh, game 1 had OT. We had OTs all day long. And there's a possibility of it here as we have Sac State Green versus CSUDH Cardinals here. Vincent, I mean, these two teams have a storied history to an extent. <laughs> Yeah, you know, listen, I, I, I've i gotten the privilege of casting the CS, CSUDH roster a ton, I feel like, last semester especially. Um, and even the first semester working with NECC, I feel like I, you know, this gun bear, one mad bad dog, bear, you know, that whole group. And, uh, well, they, uh, they've started out a little bit uh, not, not ideal, one and one. They uh, lost to UH Alpha. Um, and as you can see, there is the CSUDH full roster. I mentioned uh, Gambear and, and one mad bad dog joining them and his carbon red Shan um, as well. On the other side of things, though, we have the Sac State Green roster um, that is sitting at a 2-0. Uh, a they have not lost just yet. It's going to be Artata, Kitten, Meow, Rux, and Flacco. And uh, that 2-0... That also involves a win over UH Alpha. So um, I think Sac State Green clearly uh, with a light advantage based on that early that early win. Let's – I would agree and then also disagree. The reason for that is, again, the games that both these squads had were fairly close, right? All of yeah. them running up the, the bracket, I believe. Uh, taking a look at Sac State Green's win – it was a 7-13, 13-8, 13-10, so go in the distance. And then, of course, on the other side uh, with CSUDH uh, Cardinals, it was a 4-13, 13-7, and 10-13. So, again, fairly close at the end. Very, very nice games. And that gives me credence to the fact that I think CSUDH Cardinals are going to be coming out of this swinging again, as we stated, both having different records to UH uh, Alpha, but both having played against each other so often. And I feel that we are going to see them come out of the gate swinging here. I know it's late, but the players say, listen, we play like this all day. This is peak game and hours. And we are going to send it as we get into the maps. Let's go ahead and run over them. It will be Bind, Ascent, and Breeze, which will be very, very fun. You can already see it up on your screen here. I mean, that's a nice variety, I have to say. Two old school and then, of course, one of the newer school ones. Yeah, and that went down um, in the, the fashion of Sac State banning out Icebox and Fracture. Well, the CSUDH got rid of Haven and Split as well. I'm uh, excited for this map. I think Breeze as a decider is really interesting. It's a lot of fun, though I don't know if they're going to get there. Um, bind, though, where we begin. And uh, I've seen quite a bit of Bind today. I think this is like my third Bind map that I'll be casting. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to kind of see what these squads have uh, have to show as we've kind of seen some adjustments meta-wise to this map um, as, as well. And I'm interested to see if we see any of that coming to fruition. The meta can shift and every team also plays to their own beat. They run to their own drum or march to their own drum, of course. And that sometimes is, uh, as you stated, influenced by the meta. Sometimes it's just, it feels good, right? Artata, of course, hovering over Neon. We have seen some of those Neons come out here and there. People testing it out. People uh, kind of messing around with that type of meta like you were talking about. Of course... Don't want to send it too soon. It takes a while to adjust to these agents. So, so far, we are seeing the Mirror Astra, the Mirror Sova, the Mirror Rays, and possibly the Mirror Viper. The difference, of course, being the Sky and the... And that will lend itself to slightly different strategies, depending if you're on the defense or attack. Orbital. They must know I've been casting because they've broken my cardinal rule again. <laughs> they just keep breaking it, Orbital. It's painful when they do, but... Killjoy is just not good on this map, mm -hmm. and I will I will continue to bang this drum um, until people can start listening, uh, <laughs> because 
It's just not very good. You're never going to see a pro player play Killjoy here in a professional match. There's a reason for it. It's because it's really, really hard to use the lockdown effectively. Mm -hmm. And even when you can, it, it's just it's so few and far between. Not to mention, you're just better served with so many other options. You know, I think just as Sentinel players go, I mean, at this point, Chamber, uh, but even then, Cypher. Or, as you can see on the other side, Sky is also a fantastic choice. It is, and, and to give a bit more reason behind that, right, it's because each site has too many openings. There's no real way to corral the players, right, and they can always spread out in different directions. It's too easy, and so, as you said, the agents are going to be a little bit different, but, of course, if Red is able to make it happen, that'll be very, very interesting to see how they utilize it here. Of course, it is going to be on the defensive side first. We'll see where they decide to go as, again, it will be a breakout onto A here. It will be the attackers going ahead and dancing a little bit here. Wall is up. Questions through the side. And Gombair goes ahead and snipes down two. That's a great way to kick it off. The utility getting all the kills. Shan picks up one. Carbon now falls to Meow. Ganbear picks up a 3k. Meow takes out Shan. And the kill feed is lit up. As Sac State Green are left with one standing. And yeah, that one has to play against three. Looking for it. Yohan Bear out in the open and one mad bad dog coming around the back side for the frag. The early start for CSUDH on the defense. Very, very strong. And, uh, well, it was a great start just for, for Shan, who was able to pick up an initial bunch of damage with the pain shells and confirm a kill even off the back of it. Did go down after that fact, but nonetheless, a strong start indeed as we see the Vi up. It's going to be full SMGs for CSUDH. And I have to give huge credit to the Sova on that play, right? CSUDH uh, Cardinal side. I've never seen so many utility kills in a single round, right? That was three frags early on with the utility. That's not normal. And Gambear says, yeah, it's it's very much not normal. This time actually gets taken out. Was able to unleash one shock bolt, but probably only tags down a little bit. Sac State Green still willing to push up here. Shan is caught in the cloud very very quiet setup and now they just kind of spray through no hits register though and that's gonna be a swing yeah i say one mad dog is gonna take out flacco in that astra mirror up and it's down to a 3v4 against csgdh cardinal with the weapons hot means shan gets a very nice paint shell follow-up spike down shan's fragging out there here at the beginning of this game um just in general, by the way, we recall this is Sac State Green's pick. So uh, we'll keep that in mind. Obviously not starting the best of times, but there's lots of play. It's just, it's just round two. <laughs> Nonetheless, it's Meow left alone. 1v4. Another frag will be very nice to find. And there's a couple of these low HP players. 30 seconds left. But, okay. Well, <laughs> utility's going to make that a little tough. But... Meow going through, oh. in fact, vulnerable for a moment, but yep. doesn't go for the right click. Does get the triple kill to Shan, and uh, that's going to be a uh, second triple in a row. First round was the Sova. This time, the Rays, the CSUDH, are good for that anti-eco round. And now it comes the bonus, right? Weapons hot. Going to be sending it as best they can in Genbear. Is going to be working with just a pistol, willing to kind of sack that and uh, sack this round down. And with four rifles or four SMGs still running, I mean, it's still a fair shot, I would say. Uh, not great, obviously, but CSUDH Cardinals have, I believe, uh, won with less before. We see multiple, uh, multiple lower rounds go in the direction that we weren't expecting, you know, pistols winning out and the like. So, could be very, very interesting. Sac State Green going to go ahead and take a chase in through mid. Hancing it out at least, hoping to go through Hookah, but with that boom bot, it did cause a few problems with the Astra hiding right under there. It's still going to make it very difficult for one of these entries. Well. Oh, what a find. Meow. Taking out one mad bad dog. And, well, you ask the question, dogs versus cats. This time, cats win it. <laughs> and that is Sac State with a phenomenal opening pick. See if there's going to be any more, though. Of course, CSUDH didn't have a chance to shoot back in that scenario, so more than likely, I'm going to be feeling a bit aggrieved. Or Tata. 
Right in waiting with the guiding light. But he certainly has spotted out red, and red has fallen. Now it's only just down to the one player here on the site, Shan, who mm. swung far too wide. He is getting absolutely dispatched Shot with his CSUDH. Look to try and mount a retake at 2v4. Surely this was a win for Sac State. It looks like it is. And again, Sac State are willing to play a little bit further back. Don't allow CSUDH uh, Cardinals to get multi shots off. Don't want to give them any lineups. And instead, spreading themselves fairly thin, which is the right call. One inside. But they are going to sprint out. Flacco gets one. Ganbear is down. And Carmen gets taken out from the window. The very nice spritz of the outline. So it will be a 2-1 start to go ahead and kick off this game one. Now, we finally get to play some Valorant and get to see the guns hot coming out here. That shot by Meow was just, was very, very rude. <laughs> I mean, it was dirty. I just, I mean... <laughs> And this also on the follow-up from Artada. I mean, great bait out there on towards red. And, well, we'll see what we can see. CSUDH obviously on that uh, bonus round. Now they get to buy all the way back forward. Chan it's a dangerous position, but it can also be a nice off angle. So, definitely a uh, an interesting decision. And... One that we'll be on the lookout for, but right now nobody is actually in towards that eight area. There's only one player lurking. That's going to be the Viper, Obscuring as it's vision. actually a pretty dominant B aggression for the moment. Hookah overtaken and long as well. Mm. Good little dance there. And again, it's this little default setup uh, over there in B short vision. with one lurker all the way over near lobby. And just taking things slow. Again, Sac State Green know that this is gun round. Don't want to take too many chances. Want to try and get off on the right yeah. foot. This is the team that is 2-0. They know what it's like to play under pressure. They know what it's like to play a close game. We also know what it's like to play up against CSUDH Cardinals. And we're going to see. Going again with that blind. Doesn't really catch anyone. So this swing is going to be, uh, unfortunately, open. Star throws down the nebula. And... It is going to be a blind entry red hanging behind real far with 30 seconds left without a single entry. Left. Toxic screen going to go up here at A and just is the timing to get the push through. There's Shan on the site. Going around the corner. Dispatching with Kitten. Still five versus four here. It's the SUDH time. Mm. Not a lot of it and it might just be all over. Chan staying alive for just a moment. Spike is going to get planted down, trying to deny it. He's one mad bad dog, but he can't do it. Now it's red versus one. Low health for red as Artada connects the shot. Two to two, the scoreline off the Artada triple kill. Mm, Sac State Green playing this one a little bit too close for comfort, right? On the last timing, they were down to about 10 seconds, were forced into a rush, and definitely caught CSUDH Cardinals napping a little bit there. A, wins, a round win is a round win, but it's one that they are definitely wiping the sweat off of their brows here. They are granted a rifle versus pistols unless CSUDH Cardinals are able to make something happen with these shares. This should be a 3-2 score. Sac State Green should get a plant and a nice wipe. Of course, the utility might speak otherwise, but with a push up mid, or at least be short, it is going to be a swing into hookah if they so choose. Again, plenty of options left in their favor. Saxon Green doing a good job on this attack side thus far to claw things back after losing the pistol. So once again, this B aggression. We've seen this a, uh, a couple of rounds in a row at this point. Now, to be fair, it's really strong for Sac State to just get control of both long B and of the hookah position every single round because it only makes it difficult for CSUDH. Oh. Did Kitten spot Carmen here? I don't think Seems so. Seems like it's not the case. But still so close. <laughs> oh, and Carmen still wins the battle. Kitten hiding in a corner. You got to be a little bit quicker than that. Uh, no cat light reflexes so far, at least. That'll be a nice drag for CSUDH Cardinals to lock down B a little bit. But again, 
Remember, those are going to cause a few more problems. Meow going all the way into the back. That's going to be a showstopper. Hughes gets one kill. Can you get a little bit more? No, you can't because Flacco took the other kill. That'll even things up into a three on three, but entry in for Sac State Green. We go ahead and get the plant. And that'll force a retake by CSU DH card. Knowles Meow takes one. One mad dog is now down to a zero mad dog. Carbon is going to have to wander along the back sides of the hall. And one in elbow means that it's a hard swing. Shots go out. Artada going to spot them out. This is going to be the tough one. Again, one, possible two. Shot in the arm. As that'll put it at three. Sac State Green so far running after these few rifle rounds. Not only that, but taking them too. Artada, three from the last round. A double kill there at the very end in order to close that one has been crucial in doing just that. So, another gun round oh, upcoming. And Sac State, like I said, they've, they've done a good job of, of kind of setting up a default and, and sticking with it. Now they might take advantage of that as well. You can see the, the, initial, the initial utility being thrown in towards Hookah, but everybody else is is actually committed to what is a, an A lean at the moment. And it might just turn into a straight up A execute. Mm, this is gonna be the Hunter Series coming out. Rux goes ahead, fires away over here straight through, but immediately gets a paint shell in response, almost dies. Sitting got about 18 HP. Carbon finds Kitten, great shot once again. That is the second time Carbon has gotten the better of Kitten. And unfortunately for Sac State Green, you can't allow that to continue to happen if you want to try and get a run of rounds. Now down to a 4v5 installed out over here on A. Owl Drone, you can see, sent across a tower in showers. Just trying to spot something out, but with no information, this is going to be a very, very rough entry. A little bit of a rough defense. Eagers. Committed. I didn't like to follow, and oh, nice oh. meow. Hunting him down, taking him out. Carbon default, 4v4. Shan on the follow-up as well here for... California State and Gun Bear continuing the domination. 4v2 now. Sac State Green have to make a comeback. Blacko with Rux. Two positions. They push forward. Time not on their side. Just 16 seconds left. Jan for the second on the round leaves just 10 seconds in a dream for Rux. I don't think he can find it. He does pick up a kill, but it's just a singular kill. It even gets vulnerable off the back of the gravity well. Only to be taken out by one mad bad dog. And this round, I think, highlighted the excessive use of the nebulas and the stars that it's very often occurring with Astros on both sides. Uh, this is the second time, actually, that we've seen a site completely uh, blacked out by the stars. It's, it's very, very interesting because, again, that does mean that you have to realize any site that you do, that you decide to go into if you're attacking um, is going to be lit up like a Christmas tree. And it's a Christmas tree that fell on your eyes because you don't get to see more than about two feet in front of you. And I, Sac State Green have got to realize this a little bit if they want to still take those chances because it means that you're flying blind either try and use that to your advantage but them running it down to the wire does bring with it an, an air of caution that I don't think they're allowed to take currently lit up like a Christmas tree that fell on you I'm gonna have to remember that that's that's a fantastic <laughs> quality dude oh my goodness I'm over here dying <laughs> but you know who isn't dying at least not yet is this squad for Sac State as in fact, they found an opening frag. Meow, the one to do it. Now, granted, CSUDH in a pretty good position here at the A side. We've got two players here. Looking to rotate one more in immediately here after. This is underway. And oh, mm. Meow. He's just dispatching with red with E. A mad bad dog coming around the side hall. It's a nicely placed headshot in towards Artata. Phenomenal bit of utility to force one mad bad dog into the hands of Flacco. Meow doubling and now tripling down on this round. It's Ganbear all alone with seven health to work with. This one should be a shoe in. Meow, of course, waiting around the edge. Ganbear should be taken out quite quickly here. You take a peek on the side, and I think you might have seen a shoulder here. That should be. 
to tell. Oh, oh no, oh no. Uh, Rex unfortunately fell right there, but that was how Sac State Green do want to play it. They baited out a lot of the stars on the defensive side of CSUDH. Cardinals were allowed entry into A, collapsed very quickly off the back of Meow's fantastic play. Again, 11-5-2 and two on the scoreboard so far. This is what Sac State Green were trying to hope for, right? No more dark battles where it's a 50-50 chance of who swings first. Now it's going to be all in their control. CSUDH Cardinals, of course, on the pistols only. You do have the Cosmic Divide, but of course you don't want to toss that one down. No reason to on an eco round. So, again, Sac State Green should have a little bit of a shoe in to a 5-3 scoreline. And let's see if CSUDH Cardinals uh, pull off a ridiculous, drastic play. One Mad Dog says, eh, I, I might have it. <laughs> one Mad Bad Dog always has something in the back pocket. It's a matter of figuring out what it is. That's always tough. Blacko. Seven bullets, two players pushing. Is it going to be enough? And he says yes. Now three left in the chamber, but it's good for Artata, who has the help. I'm going to even pull the overgrowth to give him some additional healing. And that's some nice spam damage there. Ruck is going down low. Garbin dispatched on the telly for health, a dream, and uh, well, not much else here for Man Bear to work with. Down. Dreaming of a white Christmas and an ace potentially. Uh, can't really get the ace, but you can get one or two more kills, right? Uh, that'll always polish off uh, a round that is, of course, going in Sac State Green's favor. Or maybe looking for some of those exits. Artada is, of course, probably not going to allow that to happen. With the stars being dropped down, Ganbear is going to go ahead and send out a little bit of a recon bolt. That's going to be... Oh, a zapper. If that had been a zapper kill, that would have been hilarious. Or, of course, it is a zapper track. And Artana goes, thank you very much. Triple kill for the Sky to go ahead and enable the Seekers once again. Uh, to that point, I do want to say, Artana, I think, has so far hit two Seeker Swarms already. So, crazy amount of ult charges granted to Artana's side. Yeah, Artana has been playing pretty darn well. I mean, we talked about him in the opening couple rounds. Able to pick up a triple kill, I think, and then, then a double kill the the two gun or the, the first two gun rounds. Um, so... Absolutely, been continuing to have that sort of uh, sort of good good play. Ten kills on the on the game thus far. Don't worry about it. Oh, so in, here's a showstopper. Meow, looking for it. Gonna get stunned out, and uh, might really not find much of anything at all. Actually, wait, what? World. Hold on. Uh oh. <laughs> Looked like uh -oh. it should have been there in carbon. <laughs> good for the regress. Nasty work being done there by the ZS2DH side of things. And Sac State down bad. There's one mad bad dog. Good for another one. Is it 4v2? Oh. Make it a 1v4 here. Flacco has to do it all alone. And whilst he tries to deal with the flying rays, everybody else shoots him in the face. When skeet shooting goes wrong, that's basically what that was. <laughs> that was Shan just literally being decoy at that time, and it worked amazingly well. Uh, very well done by CSUDH Cardinals. That was a little bit of a rush from Sac State Green. They tried to change up the tempo, and CSUDH Cardinals were ready for him. Very, very well timed, very well played, because just as Artada and Meow have played well, so has Ganbear, so has Shan, uh, so has everyone, really. They've all kind of pulled their weight. Of course, the one that we're still kind of waiting for is Red, sitting with one frag at the bottom. I don't think uh, it is close to that ulti charge just yet, so still working the way forward. As you said, that, that might be a little bit of a crutch uh, that might slow down CSUDH Cardinals. So far on the defensive side, though, they're keeping pace very, very well. Absolutely are doing just that. 5-4. State. I'm looking to continue... Find some success. There's Meow ready and waiting. So patient. Ma Meow seems ready to, to manufacture an opening pick every single round and is quite deadly at that. The Shan on the other side of the map is dispatched with Kitten. So, well, some good with the bad, you could say. 
unfortunately, that is going to be the trade. But because the kill came in for Sac State Green on that B side, it gives greater entry value. Red now pinned against the wall, trying to dance it out from this Hunter Syrian. Was able to dodge, but immediately taken out by Artada. Again, difficult spot to be in, and you did the best that you could. Sac State Green sitting in the 4-3 advantage. The Showstopper is available. Shan picks up a great headshot off Flacco, just kind of sitting and waiting. That's going to be the Showstopper used. Can't get it off as Artada finishes that one off. Carbon now hiding in the backside. Artada finishes off three. Carbon is able to take out Artada, but Meow finishes it off. That'll put Sac State Green at six. Two more rounds to go in the half, and CSU DH Cardinals just looking to tie things up. They certainly are doing just that. I mean, but hey, Sac State already confirming themselves the position at, at six for the half, and that's uh, that's kind of step number one, right? You want to mm -hmm. get you want to get at least to that position, then you can start to work on on anything more. And granted, I mean, there's two rounds left. You can see an eight four half possibility. Especially considering CSU DH at the moment are lacking in a whole bunch of weaponry, utility, and the like. So, that being said, there's a couple of uh, the best guns in the game ready and waiting, i.e. the judge. <laughs> the days of the judge rushes. Uh, the days where you just saw a jet blast through, take two shots, and go, I wiped the team, guys. It's all good. All good Not going to happen here. <laughs> I, I do not miss those days at all, by the way, because I, I hate jump scares, so watching that happen to me consistently was yeah, the most doing. painful thing ever. Of course, now we get to see the B site once again aggressed on here. B long going to be swung up on Artada. Has been a phenomenal hold. Again, the Nanoswarms are out. Artada is able to take out Red before they're activated, and that might be the entry. A nice swing, a prediction, but you still can't beat that judge. One mad dog is going to finish that one off. Flacco gets a 2k, and it's down to a 3v2. CSUDH Cardinals, with the low utility they've had, have actually done a lot better than expected. Again, taking out two feels pretty good. Now with the shock bolt right into the back side, isn't going to tag out Flacco, but does give enough information. Ganbear information has been spotted and the plant left. has been made. The one of these three opportunity is, it's a tough call. <laughs> no doubt. The Ganbear going to give it a go. Give it a old Gander. But to be fair, all three of these players are uh, playing it pretty darn passively and Yenbear taking his sweet time to get into the site even. Now the Owl Drone going to come out. Yenbear going to be able to dodge it initially. Can't dodge the bolt though. Takes the duel and Flacco wins it out. Kitten was there just in case. So like I said, Sac Last State Green poised to play for eight. Boys are ready to fight. You can take a look at the weaponry on the other side. Uh, Carbon and Gambear should be able to buy up. The question is how much utility do they actually have in that bank? And uh, and I I do think they're going to be working with a little bit less. Of course, you do have that Cosmic Divide once again. And that Lockdown Red has yet to actually play that. Keep in mind, that is something that we have not seen used at all. And if you can't use it on the defensive side, I mean, where are you going to really use it? Uh, I think this will lend uh, itself to the argument that you made earlier, right? Running that Killjoy is just uh, kind of putting yourself at a handicap. We'll see if it can maintain some sort of advantage. It's going to be a default spread over there in a short and B long. Of course, playing both angles is the right call. That's going to be a bounce forward. Red immediately shuts that one down. CSU DH Cardinals go ahead and be very happy. That's going to be Red holding down two. And that's much better. Carbon takes out Kitten. It looks like CSU DH Cardinals will go ahead and move into the second half with a potential round victory. It's looking like it. And, I mean, 7-5, that's a pretty darn good half for both sides. I think both teams can kind of walk away feeling as if they've done something, accomplished something, found some success. Though, obviously, Sac State Green with a uh, modicum more of that success. But we'll have to see if that can continue here on to the defensive half. As Sac State, I, I will say, Artata, look at him, top of the leaderboard, 14-8. It's felt like sort of been kind of the the difference maker, but not only picking up 14 frags, but 10 assists as well. Talk about being a team player. <laughs> it's nice to see, right? Uh, Sky, the one that's usually just like, I'll blind everyone and everyone else file in. 
it's taking both the support and mainstay roles and really carrying it through. Now it's on CSUDH Cardinals to kind of replicate that same favor again. And a 5-7, it's still very doable. Plenty to work with here. Should be fairly easy, but Sex 8 Green are going to make it very difficult here on their defensive side. It's a 2-2-1 split in the default with the spike over there in B short. They're going to go through the teleporter and try and get a collapse. That's going to be Meow taking out Shanna. Shan took out Atata. Remember, top fighter for that squad. And immediately, that mid is shut down. Now it's a duel of 1v1 over here on A as Flacco wins that one out. That's the lurk down. And that gives huge credence to Sac State Green as their opening pistol on the defense seems to hold true. I'm going to keep it real. It, you know it's late when I'm... I'm wondering why you said 5-7, thinking it was the gun from Counter-Strike. <laughs> yeah. Oh, but no, that's just the score line, Zach. Go get, get with the program, buddy. Speaking of the program, 3v4. Here comes that push uh, from Hoopka as we sort of flip the script, right? The, the defense became the offense there for just a moment. Mm -hmm. And now we have gone back to the norm as it's a still 3v2. Rotations, though, left. coming through. A is the site of choice for the Cardinals as uh, they get through into position. And I will say, as well, you pointed it out, and I have to agree, if Sac State Green are being aggressive on the defense, at that point, CSU DH Cardinals have left. to realize they lost all Five control of the game, it. right? If the defense is allowed to push you without any uh, any response, that's not a good sign for the game. Of course, we are in only to the pistol round, so Sac State Green might be willing to try and play at that more aggressive tempo. But again, this is going to be the defensive. CSU DH Cardinals are going to be back into this U-Haul and try and hold it out again. I think they both were spotted by the recon bolt. Rux is going to go ahead and set up. That's going to be a couple shots to the head. Rux is able to get the headshot. Red sneaking around the backside. Might get a good couple pieces. Gets one. Can't get the second. And Meow is going to take the 3k. Spike is defused and sexy green in the pistol. A big win considering the fact that this is their map pick. And with the early lead, or rather the, the half lead, they are now in position prime and ready to walk away with this thing. And just kind of keep farming up these rounds. Now, that being said, CCDH with a chance here to fight it back. Look at the buy. He's forced in. And it's going to be a pretty similar weapon setup by the look of it. And Sac State Green going for five Spectres. And it's a uh, triple Spectre SMG slash pistol buy for uh, CCDH. <laughs> CSUDH are now going to try and file in. Meow says no thank you. As Carbon, who was one of the lurkers, uh, one of the front pushers, I would say, for CSUDH Cardinals on the defensive side, immediately gets taken out. Now this is going to be a full court press. Coming in from the long side of B. Oh, and that's a peak. They are spotted out, and that immediately forces them back. Great call by CSUDH Cardinals to go ahead and flank back. They saw two are now going to try and pressure into A. It's a three on four defense. Sac State Green still winning it out. Flacco hiding inside of those nebulas, hiding inside of that dark vision pit. Meow ready to go on the side. That's going to be a, the pad, and that's Meow going ahead and get one on Camp Bear. Usually it's the with the lineup, but this time it's going to be the hold. Flacco takes a Shan. One Mad Dog takes a Flacco, and the spray doesn't come through as you have to reload. Rux catching one Mad Dog without any bullets, and Meow finishes off red. That'll put it at 9 as Sac State Green. Deny that plant. Look at this. This was, was uh, great. so phenomenal. <laughs> I think that actually... I don't know for sure, but I think that that might have actually stuck to the body of uh, of Ganbear there, but I'm not 100% sure. By the way, remind me, did we see a uh, a lockdown in the last half? We did not. None. Okay. We did not. That's what I thought. I just wanted to be doubly sure. Unfortunately, we've yet to see a lockdown here, but it's still early on this one. Just had a couple of rounds here already. And, well, hoping to see a couple more. This time, though, should just be the save. And it is for CSUDH. The force buy just did not work out in a good manner. And that does leave them in a bit of a rough spot. 
It is a slightly rough spot as CSU DH Cardinals are going to try and wing it here. It's going to be a bit of a problem as they go ahead and try and wander their way in. Rough rounds to be had. Flacco, of course, just walking around with that sheriff, just kind of twiddling their thumbs here. CSU DH Cardinals. It's an interesting path. You can actually see on the far side, yeah, those are all the orbs being dropped down and Blocking immediately vision. taken away, so... There's going to be Sac State Green still on the defensive posturing. Very, very uh, safe lineup. Before, remember, they were pushing different angles, but uh, prepped and ready to go in case they have to make the rotate. Certainly feels like it's a bit of a slow roll there for CSU DH. Mm -hmm. and it, I mean, to be fair, it sort of is. Oh. Nice shot by Flacco. I mean, not a headshot, so just a bit of damage on the first and then follow up on the second. Hitting with a chance here. Nice timing on that snake bite. And look at what it's done. Meow. Ready and waiting. And it all comes down to just a singular player left. It's going to be Shan who's forced to take the fight. Doesn't win it. And 10 to 5. Sac State Green. Meow's triple kill looking solid in double digits. For the first time here in this series. Not just that. That was uh, something that we don't normally see, which is CSU DH Cardinals actually working with an eco. It was, I believe, because they they half purchased in that second round. So this is now their gun round, which still gives great favor over to Sac State Green, right? They're allowed to still maintain their gun cover. They were able to pick up two Phantoms as well. And now you have that showstopper available. This is probably one of the best starts to a half that you could ever ask for if you're on the defensive side right now. No doubt. I mean, that, that's a great point that you made because it, it really is quite difficult, I think, for CSUDH to kind of claw their way back into one like this. Granted, they can, and we're, we're on the lookout for it right this moment. Mm -hmm. Shan, be able to grab that ult orb, keep it reasonable. Still 5v5 here, about a minute left on the clock as the Owl Drone is going to try and push forward, find some information. Ooh. It's our Tata on the site for the frag. And Shan is quickly this batch. Our Tata with another one. This guy is just unstoppable, Orbital. There's something to be said about extremely clean gunplay, right? We'll this is just... Area pure line of sight getting the reads knowing the exact angles and uh, really being able to kind of read where csu dh cardinals are going to be it lends itself to a one person hold and that's what they've done right yes there's two members over there on b but you stuff two and only left. see one meaning the information csu dh cardinals could have they only know one person is on b they don't know there's two meaning they're still hesitant to enter into this a site they think there's a possibility of four and that's what's causing them to be so slow. Now down again to 15 seconds. They're going to have to rush it, and this is not what you want to have happen. Flacco just spraying through. They know there's only one spot that they could be. This is going to be the spray and shots go out. Rux is going to force that planter to stop, and Flacco is going to come around and finish off the job. Devastation here for CSUDH Cardinals as they lose four in a row and are put on 11 and 5. Yeah, and another gun, gun round loss. That's the other sort of brutalization that we didn't really mention in that, is that every round is critical, sure, but losing in a big gun round like that is just even worse. And now you can see that the money situation has entirely become a problem for the CSU DH side. They are, are unsure of what to do. They initially, we're looking to maybe have a hero rifle instead of half bought into the coming round. And, uh, well, what else is there to find other than maybe a couple of kills of Spike Plant? That would be the best case scenario, right? Mm -hmm. You're hoping for a Spike Plant. You have to, right? Uh, Sac State Green are one away from match point, two away from taking the game, so you have to make a play happen now. This is going to be the bounce in. Artada just shoots Shan out of the sky. Again, skeet shooting gone right this time around. Beautiful shot. Artada taking two. Might spray a few more through the smoke. Yeah, you get it, and Artada takes three. Red is able to finish that one off, but the damage is done. Rux takes out Ganbear, and it's all down to Red. Again, this lone killjoy caught in the garden. And the hanging vines do nap up red as Kitten takes a headshot. It is now match 
point. As Match quick as point. can be as CSUDH Cardinals look to try and make a comeback. So, uh, I'd say I hate to be that guy, but I'd be a liar. But we still <laughs> haven't seen a uh, lockdown. And I just want to be clear. I, I'm yeah. not trying. I just want to be very clear. I'm really not trying to call Red out in particular or anything like that. But it is something consistently that I see in collegiate, especially. Um, mm. And I think it's a big mistake. So um, I, I, I just think that it's it's something to, to mention because of that fact. But here we go. Ultimate, speaking of them, that's nicely placed. And in fact, the gravity well helps out big time as Ganbear has gone down. CSUDH are making the moves. Trying to come back, come back into this one. And they have to, right? You're sitting on four ultimates. I want to see at least one drop. You got to try and make a drop in the bucket because it starts with taking a one swing and the shots go through. Can't, can't finish off that kill. Oh, come on. That was a full clip there. Now taking a couple shots. Shan finishes that one off. And Kitten might be kicking themselves a little bit due to the fact that you gave up a frag. Sac State Green could have had a 4v3, but instead have a 3v4. On their hands, CSUDH Cardinals, of course, sitting with two bleeding red. Rux is going to swing, gets one. Might get a spray down as he's going to back up for the recon. And the showstopper is going to be used. Shot straight down to the ground. Shan picks up a 3k. Beautiful, beautiful play to give CSUDH Cardinals a chance. 1v2 now as Carbon takes it. And he's going to run it back. A paint shell right in the back, though. Right on the head of Carbon. No, this is not how this ends. Shan finishes off with four. And my gosh, with a single set of HP. Six, to be exact. That is a scary way to keep yourselves in this game. Yeah, and we finally saw that lockdown that we were just talking about. Um, did did find some value. So good, good job there to Red to, to find a good timing for it as well. So... Zach State Green, still a 12, and a six-round deficit to CSUDH, but a uh, fantastic CSUDH round nonetheless. There. But I'd love to see the, just like, maybe a change of pace okay. here for Zach State. They, they got aggressive initially on the last round with the ultimate, but then sort of fell back immediately. And, well, Kitten, no chance to fall back. Not if you're in the grave, and that's where he's sitting okay. and going to be waiting for the next round. Gonna be waiting, but Artada sends one more to go visit him on the bench. It's down to a 4v4 again with the bomb in default positioning. It, it's a nice swing, CSUDH Cardinals. They used two ultimates in the last one. We did finally get to see that um, that lockdown, even though it wasn't really utilized. Now you have that Hunter's Fury and the Vipers, uh, Vipers Pit. So two great ultimates to clear out of sight. If you do want to take that chance, Red, of course, takes out Artada. Red takes out Rux right behind and... Red Why coming online here in the latter half of this half. Better late than never as Flacco and Meow are going to try and pull off a 2v4 retake. Here we go. Cops divide out and up. And uh, these guys are at the wrong side. They, they don't know. Ooh. That's Cosmic brutal. divide through them for a loop maybe? Yeah, they had to. <laughs> I mean, I, I think... You know, a little bit of a mistake there, regardless of the cosmic mm -hmm. divide, but it's just too late. I, I think they shouldn't even go for this. They should just run the right, other direction. Save. Keep the guns. I saw this earlier today, and, and I think that's Last just... You don't have time. And, well, you certainly don't have time when you are uh, met with death. <laughs> that's when the clock runs out uh, much <laughs> faster right. than you expected. That That's uh, about it. So, now I'm taking a look... up on that. <laughs> hey. Yeah, we're good here like that. Uh, mm -hmm. Looking at it, though, Sac State Green, still plenty in the tank to go ahead and buy out. Even after this round, I think they're going to have a second, or I guess it would be a third buy uh, behind it, right? Fully bought out here. Light armor on Artada, or half armor. Two ultimates in their pocket. CSUDH Cardinals did have to extend that Cosmic Divide. Working once again with the Hunter's Fury and that Viper's Pit on the attack will give them a great options. But Kitten playing very far up past the wall. And is not going to throw down an extra set of poison to really block off this hookah edge. Oh, Kitten gets popped right on the edge. The utility flushing out this Viper. The call is made. CSUDH Cardinal going to call out this nasty Hunter Siri. Can't catch more than a little bit of damage. Kitten staying alive and kicking through that hookah information. 
Such a very split offense, though, here for Cardinals as they are sort of everywhere. Shock Dart. Some big damage there to one mad bad dog. Well, yeah, for the timing, but Carbon has the frag. It's not to be. Vlaco now coming around the corner. He seems to have an idea that there's somebody kind of sitting and waiting out there. And as well, has a inkling. Oh. And it's found Shan out. 44. Hunter's Fury here for Sac State if they need it. The Viper's Pit is exactly the same. 30 seconds for left. The CSUDH side of things. They made it in halfway. Can they finish it off? Again, Flacco hiding in this nebula. It is going to be questionable. That's going to be a spray. Flacco wins that gun duel. Now with the Viper's Pit going up, it's going to be the spray. Flacco gets it, denies the plant, and now it's going to be a question of can they follow through. One my dog has to rush in, gets a kill on the truck. That's at least going to be one, but Artana stops it again. Oh, that's brutal. But now it's going to be the plant going through. Where is the Viper? Viper coming in all the way on the far side, and now it's down to a 1v1. Kitten has to make the kill of the game. It's against one match. Mad Dog, the Mad Dog versus the Kitten. And that's a sentence that you really don't want to hear for your game point, or maybe you do if you're a CSUDH Cardinals fan. Kitten gonna slowly walk, clear a couple angles. And it's gonna be in U-Haul. Looking the long way, fires poison the opposite way, took a 50-50. Unfortunately, it's gonna be Gravity Weld. One Mad Dog makes the IQ play and takes the 4K to clutch it up to eight. A big win, no doubt, but I mean, how long is this comeback going to uh, to kind of be percolating before we kind of feel like it is a real possibility? I, I don't know, but I, I don't think I'm a believer yet. 12-8, still very close, no, no doubt, three rounds in a row for California State is definitely very solid. Sac State Green, they've continually had buys. They've got another one into this round. And here comes the Viper Pit, defensive this time. And uh, Toxic Orb to add insult to injury. And it's another point to make. CSUDH Cardinals won all three of those rounds in a row, specifically because they had ultimates. This is, it's usually used to actually cut through uh, the economy belt that Sac State Green had built up, you weren't able to do that in the three rounds that you won. Instead, they're still on their last buy round. Now it comes down to straight up gun mechanics. Are you going to be able to pull it out? Kitten is ready to go. That's going to be the recon bolt plunging into the darkness. Carbon gets it and eaten up here through the poison. Unfortunately, CSUDH Cardinals without any ultimates. It, it looks like they're right back to square one. Sac Poison's State Green off. getting that first blood. Certainly has been a good start to the round off the Viper's Pit. One Mad Bad Dog swinging out. Looking for Rox, who's caught in the corner. I need in fact, how do you know? Not quite on target, but boy, was it a good idea. And da damage done uh, courtesy of left. Paint Shells. You really feel like they have something there and that somebody's going for oh, that, that position. And in fairness, the right. Now, Ganbear this time had some information and oh. having to go through that teleporter. Unfortunately for the CSUDH side, Ganbear the only one left alive, means it's 13 to 8 here, map number one. Granted, Sac State's pick, but still. That was a great game, though. Both Sac State uh, Green and CSUDH Cardinals both had pretty good glimpses there, right? Sac State Green all the round looked great. Uh, phenomenal showings, I gotta say. The aim was on point. I do have to give huge props over to CSUDH Cardinals. Again, the rounds that they utilized their ultimates in, they did win, meaning they they still have that consensus, right? That, that way of manipulating and working with the utility they have in their hand. As long as they're still able to do that, they are not out of this series yet. No, they are not. But with that being said, map two coming up here next and it's going to be a set we're going to be headed there in just a minute though first we're going to go take a short break so we'll see you here in just a little bit
And welcome back. We are ready to go for game number two of this series. So far, Sac State Green have shown their dominance once again. A 13-8 win. Last few rounds were a little bit sloppy, but overall, a 13-8 win is fantastic. And now, moving into Ascent, they're looking to do it again. But CSUDH Cardinals are hoping to put a stop to it on their own map pick. That they are, but, well, they're going to have to do it with a uh, little bit of a swap up here. Mm -hmm. we got Sac State Green. Um, it's going to be Kitten out for Nav the Jet, and same uh, for Flacco is out. Tech will be headed in, and it's not all. The CSUDH side of things, Carbon will be headed out, and Bear is the one to come in for them. So, Ganvair and Bear, two different two different players just to keep it straight <laughs> we're gonna try our best to make sure of that but of course we are taking a look here on a set and we're gonna see a little bit different in terms of the agent selected here so far it's a mirror across the board uh, in terms of the KO I believe the jet could be hovered for Artada the Sova's there and the Astra so you're really looking at red on that killjoy and this one holds a little bit more weight behind it uh, and maybe yeah. we get to see that lockdown used a little bit more often. Yeah. I, well, where I was absolutely down and out on the Kildry over on Bind, I'm a huge fan of the Kildry mm -hmm. here on Ascent. I think it's uh, no no doubt the best uh, Sentinel. Um, I mean, I guess you could argue about Chamber, but Chamber is more of a Sentinel slash Duelist hybrid. And, uh, um, you know, Killjoy, Cypher, those are, are, are very clear Sentinel choices, and, and Killjoy is, is phenomenal here. Mm -hmm. And it looks like we are going to see that mirror matchup. This is the new meta that's been, uh, you know, emerging. I say been emerging. It has emerged over the last <laughs> month or two in, in the pro meta. And um, it's been the KO, right? Coming in, mm -hmm. it's really, really hard to have a, uh, a good, good KO play on this map, though. And... Uh, Usually the KO that performs individually the best is the KO the, whose team is going to win. That's been pretty consistent. We'll have to see if that holds true for right now. It's all down to that singular agent, but we've seen teams step up before, and we're looking at Sac State Green. Of course, on that side, we'll be heading up that attacking side first, I do believe. Uh, we might actually have the... Uh... Am I crazy? Do we have the side swapped here? Uh, I have to see the... Yes, I believe one my dog is actually yeah, CSUDH yes. Cardinals. So uh, we will get that graphic started here, short, uh, swapped here shortly. Sac State Green is on the defensive side uh, to kick things off here. And um, yeah, my brain's working, everyone. I, 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 I did not actually think that I was crazy. I, I definitely thought I was going crazy. Uh, taking a look uh, here, though. You know, it depends yeah. on who you ask. <laughs> Yeah, so it, there's a fine line between genius and crazy, and I, and I tow that every single day. It's great. So Artada is going to go ahead, sit in this back corner in, um, in the wine cellar, I like to call it, as we do go ahead and get this pistol round underway. There we go. Shan on the frenzy. Good for the frag, and Artada makes the move, but makes it a, maybe a little prematurely as Dan Bear is able to find that on the rotation. 3v4. CSUDH up by... One. The retake just to come through. Here we go. Again, that pulse going up on the top side is going to slow down Jat here. Jat kind of wondering what's supposed to happen here. Trying to find a spot to set up that turret, but one my dog is in perfect spot to kind of angle in and see. That's going to be the shots going out. Another great suppression going out and kind of catching them off guard. Saxate Green are going to flood in from this upper side. Brux is going to take one before falling. Gambear is going to take that kill. Mad Dog underneath is going to take out that bot. And just like that, it is CSUDH Cardinals taking away the pistol on a beautiful A execute. Pissed around, obviously. Big, important round, and for CSU DH to pick it up as they're going down on the prior map. It's beautiful indeed. Reminder, CSU DH did pick out Ascent, which is where we're at now. It was Sac State to pick out Bind, and Breeze will be the end stage if we get to a third map. Um, but we're not there just yet. Sac State Green. Let's see what they can do. Not a lot to work with, obviously. Pistols in hand. But every, every kill counts. You don't want to break the economy of your opponents as quickly as you can. And getting that one spot is good, but 
Jet still hiding in the corner. Can't pull anything off. Baron Shan with the entry frags are going to book it into B. And again, they want to make this one as quick as possible. Tech hiding in that smoke gets a great shorty off. It immediately gets annihilated, but at least you're able to take one. Mad Dog is able to get the rebuttal. And Meow kind of stuck here and mark it. Dangerous little spot to be in. They're going to go ahead and walk in. Get a couple deeks on the head of Meow. Meow going to walk away. And Artada looking for those exits. A dance of death as Mad Dog finally able to finish it off with the pistol. Artada takes one. And Ganbear finishes it off. Two still alive as CSUDH on that anti-eco. Go ahead and take two. Couple frags. Ain't too bad for uh, Sac State. Now they can buy in, and they have done so. Initially, we saw an Odin actually coming out there for now, but it's been sold back, and it's going to be a Vandal uh, for him instead. This is a bonus round for the Cardinals, though, as they are going to keep the less than ideal weapon that they had first up in the prior round. Going to play with it this round and hope that they can pull a win out of the hat. I think that's going to come off of them playing at a faster tempo, right? They lost, actually, I think, three total rounds due to time uh, back in map number one. So I don't want to see that happen again, right? You have to keep eyes. You have to be aware of that timer at all times. And I want to see them work that clock to perfection again. This is going to be a flood from market into B. They're going to rush in with two over there on defense side uh, spawn. That's going to be straight on Ruck from the, the boathouse. is going to annihilate two. Nav uh, is able to follow up. Rux takes out Red. Mad Dog and Ganbear, though, finish off two uh, one apiece. Mad Dog makes it a 2K. Rux was able to make it three. Now into a 2v1. Rux looking for a 4K as Artada looking to try and help out the team. A swing wide does find the angle as Mad Dog looks to go a little bit feral here. Can't do it as Artada finishes off the kill. That is the round that Sac State were hoping to win with fewer members than they would like, but it's still the round in their pocket. Hey, wins are wins, you know? Yeah. Hey, you like to see them. And so does Sac State Green, though if you look at the money, it is at a hefty cost. The Cardinals love in life is that was just a bonus, and it came down to just two players alive. So now, CCDH can basically just buy up with the money they got, and potentially break the economy of Sac State here. And that's the whole idea behind that secondary buy, playing the bonus round and getting that that additional purchase on the cards. But here we go. Initial suppression for, on towards Gambier is now expired and aggression was there for Sac State, but they've been keeping it rather mild. They definitely feel like they don't need to rush, and I think that's the right call. Again, the just as I said, CSUDH Cardinals need to keep track of the time. Sac State Green were happy running down the time, right? That is something that they worked with very, very well. And it feels like they can, it, it almost feels like they are willing to bait it out once again. Can they force a CSUDH Cardinals into those rough points where they're waiting for 20 seconds left on the clock to try and push a site? Yes, you can do it, but you don't want to do it and then have to rush headlong into something that you don't know about. So, uh, really hoping they don't have that happen again. Sac State Green, of course, with all that utility prepped over here on B. Now they're going to swing everyone around with 35 seconds left. Plenty to work with here if they want to angle in. Again, the KO over in Connector left. holding that flank in the lurk position. 25 seconds left with the spike finally rotated over. The entry is going to be from two different points. If they so wish, they're, they're still waiting. 15 seconds left. This is going to be a bit difficult. Now they go ahead and flood in the best they can. 10 seconds left. They're going to have to make it. Oh, this is this is, this is is going to be a little bit rough. If they can't clear out the back, Mad Dog gets one. Rux is able to hold it down. Rux gets two. And that's the hold that you want. That's going to put Rux at three. And the defenders win. I was talking about it, Vincent. Oh, this is painful to watch. You're absolutely right. I mean, you basically called that one from the very beginning, and and you were you were on point, on target. Five seconds is when they're in the site. Like that's just not something that you can do and expect to win the round off the back of. If there's any sort of resistance on that site, it's over. 
And of mm. course, you're never going to, I mean, not never, uh, never say never, but <laughs> you're rarely ever going to be walking into a site with no resistance orbital. It's just not going to happen. Get out so, of my way. yeah, unfortunately, CSUDH kicking themselves in the foot right there. Just a painful moment. Now we do go ahead and take a look Clean at this blade storm that has popped out. Tech is going to lay down a couple areas, but Artana finds that mirror kill onto Shan. Ooh, this is going to be the chance. Again, the spray downs are good. Tech is going to follow in. Artana has to run away as the suppression is going to knock out a few of those. Meow is going to knock out Red with a headshot. Phenomenal play so far. And again, Sac State Green just mowing them down where they stand. The A push is not one that you want. Bear is going to take out Artana. The push is there. Meow takes one with that pulse bomb. It's a nasty ability to have. And now down to a 4v2. <laughs> what, did, what did he have? What did he Listen, have right it's there? a pulse. I like it's the pulse. pulse. I like the pulse He's bomb. Tracer. It's fun. He's Tracer. He's played Overwatch. Let's go. Oh, man. Oh, we're, man. We're it's crossing been, it's been over a long the games. <laughs> and you know what? One mad bad dog. He's got an AK-47. <laughs> oh, uh, man. Uh, we're, we're, it's late, okay, folks. It's late. We're we're just we're just having a good time. We're both East Coast as well, so. All right, Zach State. That's a nice find. Tech doing a great job. Who uh, is it? One mad bad dog down and out. Scan bear all alone. Does have the spike in hand, but try walking into this crossfire. Ain't no time left on this either. Ooh. It's all over. Zach State Green gonna pick up a third. That's the one that you want to have, Sac State Green, feeling good about it. And again, it is the fragment, but I like the pulse bomb sound. It's, it's. I don't know. I, I don't know why I say that. It's, it's weird. Don't, don't, don't quote me on that, please. Uh, Jat back with the Odin though. It's, we've been waiting for it, and it looks like Jat is willing to take it here. Uh, now into the sixth round, saying, "Listen, I know it's usually a Sova special, but this time the Killjoy can hold it down as well. That B site has honestly been held so well." by those two at all points. But I'm surprised the SUDH Cardinals are actually moving into mid, looking like they're gonna try the pinch on B once again. Yikes. Oh, there's a big one. Artada going to get the frag as the flash comes over the top. That's one more potentially. That's actually is one more rocks. Jeez. He is gonna get taken out as Shan comes up through middle. Now it's Odin on the site. Red denying Artada. Ooh. And Odin coming to oh. fruition, oh. double kill one with a nano swarm secondary, of course, for that Odin. And Red is back to business, trying to run the hell the other way as he tries to get onto the site before rotations come away. I don't think he's going to make it, though, especially as he starts to walk it out. At, at least maybe you get the orb. Are, are you not going to go for the orb? Oh, this is that hurts, uh, but I can understand it again trying to take the chance on a Gonna be a painful one as the shots do go out door is slammed shut But tech is hiding in the Raptors left. all three are actually gonna flood into the Raptors here And that is gonna be a really really nice play red is gonna slam down that spike Storm is set up shots go out gets one or Are they gonna walk in one by one? That is not something that you want to do swing wide can't get it 3k for Jet and as I said, holding down B with that Odin and a bit more phenomenal stuff here from Stack State Green. All right, so I have an offer for you. All right. Ooh. What if, what if we didn't see the orb gather because of the fact that the player knew when they placed the spike down, they'd get an orb? Mm. Well, thoughts? That, that's a gamble because you're hoping that no one's on the site, right? I mean, that's like, fair. I, I mean, hey, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm saying that understanding the risks, you know? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 100% right. agree then, 100%. All right. Mind. Yeah, see, I just, I'm just trying to think, you know, op uh, options out mm. here for CSUDH. So here we are. Lockdown is available for both sides. Mike Ayan, same for the null command. Hunter's Fury here and the Cosmic Divide. As well for CSUDH, they got plenty to work with, but it's been Sac State all the way here for the last few rounds. We'll see if that continues. As we see the own spam going through the mid wall this time, and uh, I think that did some massive damage by the look of it. 
two members found out why you don't take uh, take a B rush like that. It's just you don't you don't want to do it whenever you know the Odin's still in play. That's gonna be a nano swarm inside of the warehouse or a little bit of the workshop and not really gonna find much because of course that site is completely empty. It looks like Sac State Green had completely empty out of that side. Rux takes out Bear though. And that'll be the null command as you were talking about uh, on that CSUDH Cardinal side down. That's a rough one to lose, but the spike is down, and now it's going to be the Cardinals looking for the defensive. Well, see. See, ZDH could make their way back in. Here's one mad bad dog taking his time. Speaking of which, Tech doing, or excuse me, other side doing the same. Here's that lockdown we were just discussing. The null command denied. Red with a couple kills, but lockdown very much still in play. And it's resurrection for bringing back that null command. Denial of the lockdown. Now they know where one mad bad dog's coming from. And Jat with the triple. Is it going to uh -oh. be enough time? It's close. Ooh, one Just second. enough. <laughs> yeah, Meow, that's not a laughing face. That's a face of, oh my gosh, I didn't think I'd actually make it. Uh, <laughs> or or you knew it, right? After a relief a while, these... face? Yeah, the relief face, the crying of relief, right? But uh, it, it also definitely feels as Sac State knew that they had that handle, right? They they played enough games. They know how long it takes. Of course, though, Sac State Green, that was, that was around a bit rougher than they were probably liking. And CSUDH Cardinals were able to pick up a couple frags. Again, they still have four ultimates available. The Null Command was not used before. The attacking lockdown, the Hunter's here, and the Cosmic Divide. Remember, CSUDH Cardinals made a run of three before because they were able to utilize their ultimates appropriately and buffer them behind each other, pretty much. So I want to see them do it again, be able to kind of save this first half and go into the second with decent standing. Well, we'll see if that can be the case. Sac State Green, grouping themselves up three in towards A. It's a pretty good setup as well here in the catwalk area. Tree room, I should say more aptly. What happened to that shock dart? <laughs> it just, oh, like, it. it got eaten. Into it the... found the invisible wall. <laughs> Apparently it did. I, I mean, it genuinely looked like it, it just ran into a... <laughs> okay, Why we'll go back to that. It? Meow. <laughs> On the entry. Okay. Ooh, oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that was close. Oh wow, that's uh, vicious. Oh, but he's got the follow up. Give him more. To be even Artada. Yes, he does. Three oh. was on the cards, but not quite there. 2v2. 2v2 and no op as well. So that'll be a very, very nice plant. One mad dog is going to sprint back to the door, try and throw it down, but that's going to give enough time for uh, Rux to be able to swing in. Oh, this is going to be very, very dangerous. Red on the flank. Oh, this could be big. Get the spray. You can't go. Kill. Oh, Red, that was your chance. And unfortunately, Jat, with the bigger swing and the bigger gun, makes it 6-2 for Sac State Green. Jack's brains is full of wrinkles, let me tell you. <laughs> I mean, this guy, he just knows when the flank's coming. He's aware. Yeah. Awareness 9,000. It ain't no bowling ball in there, right? No, sir. <laughs> this is, like I said, oh, very wrinkly. <laughs> Sac State Green. They are, uh, they're on the tear right now. Look at this. Two rounds for CSUDH. Where did they come? Right at the beginning. Pistol mm -hmm. round, anti-eco, and it's been Sac State all the way ever since then. Six rounds in a row. And, I mean... Gotta say, that is pretty darn impressive if I do see so myself. Oh. Artana once more. Dash back out, updraft to get away. Looking for another frag there, oh, playing it. with it. But one mad bad dog has the angle, only to be taken out quickly thereafter. Oh, and Meow, Meow's all the way to a 3K. Put up that smiley face. This time it's laughing all the way through as you lock in a seventh round. And this one, again, Artada has been on top of it from game number one, this op play. And this one right here, what did surprise me? I thought that one mad dog was going to be spotted out. Of course, was not. Artada did not catch that one. And well, then this swing here, this this cup coming with, oh, that was just dirty. <laughs> that is nasty work. You got to give me all credit for that one. Um, but in all in all honesty, one mad bad dog probably should have gotten the trade initially. Um, didn't have his gun out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I can relate. I think relate. it was a swap for the op, right? 
I, I'm not sure, but either way, didn't have his gun out. Mm. Is the, is the issue? So could have gotten the trade initially, could makes up for it in the end. But a uh, not a missed shot. Shot on the owl drone there to open up for the operator. Zach State, here we go. Okay, what a find! It through the smoke. There's no more need to worry about that KO. That that has to hurt, right? That is the third time I'm pretty sure uh, that the CSU DH Cardinal KO has fallen with ult up. It's been three rounds that this uh, ulti could be used, and it hasn't. This time, one my dog and Ganbear are able to find entries. It is a four v three. And the Cosmic Divide once again goes down. Standing this ahead. time, it is going to give a Spot bit more planted. credence as Rux is looking like they're going to enter in on their own. Remember, this is a lurk position from the Astros. And they're going to try and flood their way in. Tech knows something is coming up. CSUDH in position will potentially win this round. Oh! oh! Okay. I was just kidding. It was a joke. It was a prank. I'm sorry. I apologize. Late Storm already still up. And, well, oh if it weren't bad enough... Red gets stunned before he gets a knife to the face. So, Sac State, they are uh, firing on all cylinders here, Orbital. Eight to two. And it, look, I, I blinked my eyes and I missed them all. Like, like this kill, and they're all dead. I don't know if people understand how difficult that is to pull off or if that was even called together, right? I was I, choosing okay. to believe it. Yeah, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go on a hazard uh, in this 10 seconds. Tech knew that uh, that one of my dog was actually behind. Called for Artada to come by with the ultimate. Knew that swing was gonna happen. Was willing to swing through doors on their own. And then the call out with Rux up top to swing as well. That was by far the most perfect swing I have seen tonight. That was ridiculously clean. Gamers, gamers, gaming. Here we go. Up oh, and good. There's Artada with two. <laughs> Looking for more. That's a bot. And he's got it. Hunter oh. Shiri was just there for disruption. It was all a bit of a ruse. Oh. Again, Jutsu, and it is Rux to close it out. Nine to two. I am hyped for house. Sac State Green. They're, they're like, you didn't give us the hype that we deserved for that last round. Give it to us here. They go ahead and mow it down. Moving into the last round of the half here. We are taking a look. Excuse me. At one mad dog trying to push forward with kind of this carry. 13 frags in the pocket. The next closest is Ganbear at 7. And honestly, the most painful thing is for Bear at 4-9 has been shut down in every corner, has not been yeah, allowed to way. use this null command at any point in time. And, and, and I don't know if Sac State were pinching that on their side because they knew how strong the null command could be no with some of these combinations, but still, very well done by Sac State Green. Now we get to hear the Hunter's Fury and the Blade Storm being called out. Yeah, there's that Hunter's Fury. Artad is literally just an unstoppable force at this point, it feels like. I mean, CSUDH, they're doing their best. Like, I, you know, no disrespect. It's just, well, <laughs> they just haven't been able to stop him. Oh, this time, shot, <laughs> Jan is put down. Excuse me. Sorry about that. <laughs> that's that's them, like, apologizing for taking the one tap. One, my dog answers right back and says, apology not accepted. Here, eat my response. He's at least going to take two to the grave, and then Tech finishes it off. That was... That's a 10 to half. Are you kidding me, Sac State Green? I no uh no kidding here. <laughs> it's uh it's all for real. No CSU DH, they're gonna hope it's all a bad dream and they're gonna wake up and they haven't played the matchup. <laughs> but I hate to break it to you. It is uh it is all real. It is all mm -hmm. serious, all legitimate. Ten to two. So this pistol round <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's it's something. <laughs> so this is called uh, the dance of pistols. This is the ritual of teams that are down by uh, at least eight or more rounds. This is the dance you do in front of the pistols that are like, give us solace, give us hope, give us some sort of inspiration. But this is sad <laughs> Yeah, but they're not down. The I am, I'm up. stupid. I'm stupid. Yeah, I thought this was a CSUDH Cardinal side. I, I'm a little bit blind in the eyes. Um, hey, listen, it's okay. We're all, we've all they're there. still going, by the way. <laughs> the round started 15 seconds ago. 
I love oh, it. alrighty. You're right, it did. Holy cow. I cannot believe that. <laughs> Shit. Wait, it's in the get Great seat. Go for the reload. He's going to get it off. No way he finds another frag here. Okay. He did. He, he did. <laughs> He's found it. I can't believe it. This, this cast has just gone to hell in a handbasket. <laughs> I'm I, I'm not, I'm not proud of my missed calls and my uh, misidentification. I, I attribute my misidentification because the uh, overlay was wrong at the beginning. You know, totally what? not my own personal fault. Hold on a second. Totally not my own personal fault. I, I you know, I take issue. I take issue with that. Listen, our, <laughs> our wonderful producer would never be to blame. <laughs> All right, never. The game's going on, by the way. Sack State. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> One versus three. Your rocks. 40 L oh. down and uh, there we go. Frenzy. We back in the heck is this? Early 2021? Frenzy <laughs> meta? Is that what happened? I, I think so. It, it was more not checking your corners, which is like silver 101 right there. <laughs> Shan gets a two piece, dashes back, throws up a little bit of coverage, and then went right back in. And that is the most ballsy, aggressive, uh, defensive pistol that I've seen in a while. So I love it, right? And, and the only reason, by the way, the only reason that worked out is because Sac State Green took 15 seconds longer in their own spawn doing their dance. So, uh, <laughs> you know. Hey, listen, when you got to dance, when, when the need overcomes, Orbital, you just got to dance, my friend. Okay, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> I give you it's, that one. It's part of life. You know what else is part of life right now for CSUDH? Being down by seven rounds. They're hoping <laughs> to turn that around, though, at this point. They're playing against an eco, or at least a perceived eco. There is some sheriffs online, and we can hear those ringing true. As we get this uh, round about a minute left. CSUDH yet to, uh, yet to have anybody fall or even find any picks. But the damage wasn't us. Sac State Green saying, okay, well, we know where some people are. Bear finally takes out Meow. That's going to be the KO trade there. That's going to lock down A at least. And, and they're willing to actually challenge it. So you lost a member on A, but are still willing to swing there. Hopefully going through Connector, but they are too prepped and waiting. Instead, they're going to fall up mid. Hopefully taking out the turret in response. Red is waiting inside of market. It is going to get the spray, but Tech and Jat take one each, left. and that puts it at a 3v3. And that Dog peeks through, and Tech still wins the fight. Are you kidding me? Barrel stuffs one Mad Dog. Look at the HP. Ain't much left. Spray! Control! Not quite there for Bear! CSUDH, though. They have a chance. Sac State. Eight health. Artada. This is Ganbear. I'm ticking. A little to work with here. Owl drone. Gonna go out. Interesting uh, placement. Oh my gosh! Or God is playing hide and seek, dude. Oh, what a play! Oh He's just outbrained <laughs> this man. Oh, are you kidding me? We gotta get a replay of that. I wish we had a third, like, overview camera. <laughs> oh, I can't believe it. Oh, that was so rude. <laughs> All right, here we go. By the way, didn't hear the recon bolt. Saw the saw the vision go off. Knew that this was going on. This is a guess, by the way. This is a pure guess of which direction it's really going. You yes. have to time it perfectly. And Artada did it. This is why I'm, like, I am in disbelief at this team, right? They have taken some of these moves to the next freaking level, right? The three-man sweep earlier on, and now with that dance, Artada is a, a madman, is on fire, is in the zone, whatever you want to say right now. He's gaming. Oh, just gaming. <laughs> I don't know why. That was not fair. Oh, no. Artada <laughs> picks up a second. One mad dog caught out in the corner is now going to watch as the spike is planted today. Or, no, it's not because the spike's all the way in attacker spot. I lied. Artada is built. Sweep. Different right now. Three kills. Looking for fourth. Finally gonna go down. Long range by Shan. And uh, Shan down to 59. Uh, seems like he's, he's just... Uh... Alright. <laughs> he's been hit with literally everything. <laughs> like the whole book has been straight thrown at his face. And he didn't get out of the way because he just couldn't move. Oh. 
when when the armory comes to attack you is what just happened there. <laughs> they they drove the armory to the site and said, "Here, have at it." Uh, we're on match point right now. This is oh, that's, that's Artada. That's... I mean, is it is it fair to call that toxic? <laughs> I, I, I would call it icing the opponent, right? There. That's a nice so, way to put it. There we go. Yeah, it, it is a nice way to my, put where's it. Where's my cat? <laughs> I, I, I forgot. <laughs> um, uh. Unnecessary timeout. At the same time, I, I will give it credit where there's a possibility of basically icing the team, saying we know there's a potential for a hot streak back. And uh, just we don't want to give you that chance to stop that potential or maybe giving CSUDH Cardinals a chance at trying to regroup. Again, this is match point. Sac State Green are on a tear. And at this point, I do not doubt that they will continue their rampage throughout the rest of the season. And I would say only maybe drop games and not series. So, Orbital, I'll be completely honest with you. I have no problem with the BM. But I'm trying to go to sleep. <laughs> so, our data, let's, let's just keep it reasonable there, my, my friend. It's late here on the East Coast. And I, I want to sleep. So, you know, turning it back, you know, classic caster, turning it back, selfish reasons. Yeah. <laughs> well, what if they just run in with uh, only knives? And, and just because they heard you say that? Oh, what are they doing? Okay, okay. So last time it was pistols. Now, oh my gosh, are they all buying Odin's? Are they gonna do the Odin sprint? This is sacrifice. Odin sacrifice. Is this? It, it is. What are the? Oh my! I don't know what they're doing. Uh, I, I also believe we're currently in a tech pause here. Uh, the timer is not counting down at all. You're right. It, and yeah maybe maybe they're saying your time is up right the hour and the minute hand. i don't know i don't know i'm i'm guessing here uh I, yeah you're, you're playing <laughs> I, I'm, I'm playing something because i'm just having a blast here this has been you're and deep in the group <laughs> I, I am because this is sax a green this is a phenomenal showing this has been one side of the entire way and again it's it's otata the one bouncing up and down on your screen right now has played out of their freaking mind and can we, this can is we something get that the scoreboard up yeah look at this 22 and 11. Damn. 22. That is eight kills more than anyone else. Yes, you have four more deaths than anyone else in there right now, uh, or at least on your team. But it's been ridiculous. Highlight reel after highlight reel after highlight reel for this singular play, and the rest of the team kind of feeding off of that energy. I mean, this is certainly, certainly a ridiculous performance from Artata. So many... So many big moments, so many huge plays, and well, I'm just, I'm just thrilled to get back underway, uh, see what, see what CSUDH can uh, can do to answer back here in what could be the final round of this game, but <laughs> they're playing red light, green light. What it look like? <laughs> just I, I think so. Yeah, yeah. That's uh, <laughs> that's right. <laughs> they're going back to it, but. It's, um, I want to just spectate this. If they're going to play again, this is going to be funny. Uh, we could even <laughs> cast red light, green light. That would be yes. amazing. Can we, can, we, can, we, can we get it to them live? Like, play red light, green light and just send it? That would, that would be hilarious. Be so funny. Oh, man. I, what, what's the craziest thing you cast, Vincent? I want to hear that because we have a little bit of time here, right? Like, what's the craziest thing you've ever cast? Okay. Well, it's got to be one of two things. Either mm. chess or fall guys. Oh, Fall Guys is good. Or or Minecraft Hunger Games. <laughs> but that one actually sounds so fun though. That's just that's just a was, battle royale, was, right? It was a blast. So, I mean I, I loved it. What about you? What about you? Oh, that's oh you don't want to ask that. I have been <laughs> What do you mean I don't want to ask that? I did. Oh, I mean it. Uh I, I gotta think. I gotta think. I have cast I <laughs> I think I ended up actually casting like a soccer game at one point, and I don't know how I got there. Hey, that's sick. <laughs> I, I, uh, I, I somehow, I answered the call for a caster, and I didn't realize it was an actual live soccer game. I thought it was like FIFA, you know, 2021 or something like that. Nope, it was, it was legit like high school soccer game or something. So it was very entertaining. But that is uh, outside of the norm by a, a fair stretch. <laughs> that is great. That's awesome. I, yeah. I, honestly, I'd be down. It'd be, it'd be a good time. Ooh, yeah, that or I. One thing that I do want to do is I've I've done it for friends, but one day I want to be able to cast poker, uh, Texas Hold'em specifically. Like, 
That would be awesome, I think. Well, unfortunately, I think we're uh, we're probably going to be headed to a break for a second mm. because apparently this, this tech pause is going to be a few minutes at the very least. I don't know what the problem is, but we'll get back to you. We'll, uh, we'll let you know, <laughs> and uh, we'll be right back after this. Back. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we told you it was quick, right? We said it was quick. It, by the way, the, the round is underway, but this shenanigans is still happening. I just want to keep everything, uh, you know, on the up and up. Oh, we, they've less spawn. 15 seconds after round start, we made it. <laughs> let's get, let's get going. I will say that is a little bit of BM, but this time it won't hurt them too much. That's gonna be the Nebula's going down in connector. We're gonna see a chaser. Remember, they did drop two Otis. That's what what they're working with here. Red is going to go ahead and take out Meow. Shane is working with the Blade Storm and Red still holding down Market, so pretty sure. Sac State Green stuck here in mid and, and just kind of looking for frags. Recalling my boss. Certainly are, but hey, they've lost the opening frag. Shutting them down. Not something we've seen all too often, but here it is. Blade Storm already out for Shan. There's that possibility for a Blade Storm on the other side as well, so Definitely could still be fought back here for Sac State Green. Mm, that's going to be a shot. One Mad Dog takes out Artana through that Owl Drone, I believe, is what just happened. One Mad Dog is now going to spray a little bit more. Jat with that first Odin example. is going to go ahead and spray down one. Going to try and sprint into this B site. Looking down the scope like it's going to really do much against the recoil. Holding off the angle, though, in a 2v or 3v4. They all go ahead, sprint their way in. A Gambler takes one, spray down of another. And that'll be Shan to finish it off. Four rounds to CSUDH Cardinals here as Sac State Green go ahead and ice themselves by accident. I mean, they did ice themselves by accident, but <laughs> they also <laughs> BM, so... Hey, you know, I I'm trying I'm trying to go to sleep, but all's fair in BM and video games. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so. BM brings out the best and worst in teams. I swear. Like, I, I'm all for the BM. I you know I know I know we got some rules here at the NECC about BMing, and, and it can get over the top. But hey, I'm I'm down for some some fun. Mm -hmm. That's gonna be a four agent suppression there coming out of Bear, which is. Fairly nice to slow down the attempt. It also gives you a lot of information. You know there's at, at least four, probably all five, which you it is going to be five. They're sitting there for Sac State Green. That'll be the attacker lockdown being used, though, and that's going to converge on a majority share. So this is going to be Bear trying to throw it down as hard as possible. It will get stuck here in this uh, lockdown, I believe. That's going to be a single uh, detainee. And Artada now with 10 HP is going to try their best. Again, Tech getting the plant down. Cosmic Divide up on Rafters. We'll give them enough time to play around. A nice little Nano Swarm, though, to try and cover their backside. CSUDH Cardinal is going to have a 5v5 retake. Artada looking the wrong direction. Doesn't even get punished for that particular part of it. Does fall eventually, though. Jet on the other side of that. Taken out by one mad bad dog. And with that... Mm. Yeah, I'll come in the back line. Tech State. 3v3. Looking like it might be a winner here. So the lockdown oh. comes through. Maybe not, though. And it's all over. Attack Quick and easy. 13 to 4. The final score. Sac State Green, just that clean. Again, you said it at the beginning. This is a squad that looked like they were stronger on paper, and they showed it here as well on their own map pick, as well as on that second map. Right, again, not their map pick, but 
phenomenal job nonetheless. And Artada, I hope to see that level of flair once again over and over into the playoffs and beyond. Absolutely. I, I definitely do, though. Uh, maybe uh, we give the BM a little bit of a, you know, chill out. All right. <laughs> you know, it's fine. You won the game. Great job, by the way, to uh, Sac State, though, for winning that game. They played a very good one. Um, the commiserations, on the other hand, for uh, California State University, Dominguez Hills, they, they played pretty darn good over on Bind. Unfortunately, I just don't know what happened. I mean, I do know what happened. Artada happened. But <laughs> beyond Artada, I don't know what happened to the CSUDH side. Um, but I think that could be that could be the one the one big thing to, to talk about. And well, we certainly will remember that. Any final thoughts here, Orbital, as we uh, get going here on this uh, this late night? I I want to know if that's Artada on a good day or a great day, or if that's just the norm because that was out of control. <laughs> Certainly was phenomenal. I I don't know, but I'm sure uh, we'll be we'll be told uh, if our Todd is in chat, you can let us know. That's for for sure. I'll be on the lookout. Um, nonetheless, thank you so much, everybody, for tuning in. We had some great viewership today as well here on the NECC stream. Everybody getting involved for for Valorant. I definitely love that. Um, we uh, we'll be here next week for more Valorant. And well, I mean, if you don't know, the NECC has games all week long. Um, I just tune in literally any day of the week, and you'll find a whole bunch of games going on. With that, thanks so much for watching. We'll see you here next time for more NECC action.